Lopez is ready to head out on its maiden voyage. And guess what? Zane has been following this story very closely. He is sipping tequila early in the morning and getting ready on board the Astoria. Good for you. Yeah, maybe uh, not tequila, maybe a little British tea. How about that? Good morning, uh, Olivia. Good morning, Arizona. Welcome to Park of Panasco, Rocky Point, of course, uh, Arizona's favorite beach town. And there's a very familiar scene, right? That sandy beach right along the beautiful sand beaches here in Puerto Penasco. Of course, downtown Rocky Point is over there, but here is a different perspective. I'm gonna walk right past Z and show you. Yes, we are on board live. The Astoria, the very first cruise ship to begin a departure from Puerto Penasco and go down the Sea of Cortez. There's John Dennis, he's VP of Cruise and Maritime Voyages. He's joining us on this beautiful morning. John. This is so exciting for the town because they've waited so long for this. It's exciting for us as well. You're right. It's been a long time coming. We're happy to be here. Rocky Point Penasco has been uh, talking about a cruise ship for a very long time, and the ship has finally come in, as we said. And a lot of people are excited. All right, so me and Z and John, we're here on the bow. So this is where a lot of fun takes place. John, you're going to walk with, with me. Tell me what all the passengers can do on board the Astoria, because it's an 11-night cruise. It is an 11-night cruise. We're going to eight ports of call, some great ports along the way. Uh, Tobo de Lampo to see the Copper Canyon. That's the land of Zorro. The land of Zorro. We go on to Mazatlan. Uh, four stops in Baja California Sur. You've got Cabo San Lucas, La Paz, Loreto, Santa Rosia, and going to Guaymas before we return back. On the ship, you've got spas, you've got entertainment, you've got a small casino, so there's so many activities. Guest lecturers. We partnered with CEDO here in Puerto Vinasco, so we'll have lecturers discussing the environment, the Sonoran Desert. It's incredible. And this is where we're entering kind of the buffet area. This is kind of a uh, of casual dining as you were. Cruisers are a, a great group because they always are looking for the next big, big thing. And the Sea of Cortez is the next big thing because there's never been a cruise ship on it. They're not the way we're doing it, absolutely not. It's the aquarium of the world, as uh, Jacques Cousteau said. The marine life is abundant. There's so much to do. It's a beautiful destination. So why not cruise it? Right. And let's keep walking on the ship because you know what? There's only, we've only been on live on a cruise ship, I think, once here on Good Morning Arizona. So we want to get the full effect. This is where people get uh, their breakfast and light lunch. We, like you said, for the bar. They're on this cruise for 11 nights. It is a big deal for Rocky Point because they've never been they, a home port. And they figure once the they get this cruise ship up and running and cruises going at a regular pace, this is $115 million yearly impact for the region. So that would not only be for the state of Sonora, but for the entire Southwest and Arizona would have a big part of that. So what happens quickly? we got about 20 seconds left. What happens today? All the passengers come on board. Passengers are embarking the ship. We're, we're tendering, which means we're bringing them basically via boats that are coming over with the luggage until we get our port built, which hopefully will be soon. Uh, they'll board, they'll check in, except for the assigned their cabins. Our staff will walk them through. They'll be getting a, a great uh, first night of an 11-night cruise, obviously going through the Sea of Cortez. So we're happy to have them on board, and they'll have a great time on board. All right, sounds good. All right, and Olivia, Yetta, Scott, if we're on board a British ship, what do we have to have? Come on, gentlemen, we would like to drink some tea. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We will definitely take a spot of tea. And this is, uh, Scott, this is a 72-year-old ship. It's like you and me. It's a vintage. It's a vintage. It's it. an intimate, small cruise ship. It is a beautiful, it is a beautiful sight. You know, seriously, seen uh, Rocky Point's been working Ooh. on this for so many years, so it's got to be a good thing. I know they're excited about it. You know what? You've been coming down here just as long as I have. In fact, our tender ship, the, the ship's captain, Mark, his brother apparently sold Scott some cars and motorcycles at Tatum Sports. Scott, you know, everyone down here, <laughs> they have been waiting for a long time. They, in fact, started the port project in 2013, and it's still going on. That's the story that I've been covering for the past five years. And again, once they get that completed, $115 million yearly impact, that's a win-win for Arizona sure, as, so as well as Puerto Penasco. That's so cool. Are you gonna tell them to take that net off the pool we need to lay out in your speedo that you brought with you? <laughs> he needs a cannonball. <laughs> this is the morning show, yes. That's right. <laughs> it's like, and, and coming up at 10 o'clock, I'm gonna attempt, okay. or, I'm going to attempt to walk the entire, entire desk. Uh, All right. Uh, okay. Say, so have fun. Just be careful. In the Be careful when you're putting that tea. <laughs>